and the grass is already growing really well. Now let's see whether the girls will like it. Previously, we planned out this new hydroponic field for the guinea pigs. We started building the frame, the hydroponic system, then we started planting the seeds. Once it was completed, it was a waiting game for the grass to grow. Only a couple days have passed. I think it's been only three days when this video was shot and the grass is already growing really well. So what is all of this? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I, I just found it. Okay. Now we're going to add some stuff to the water. We found these hydroponic solutions in the garage. I hope it's not rotten. How are you gonna do? We'll see. If uh, they uh, rot, then it's just... <laughs> she thinks it's she thinks durian it's or something. <laughs> Peanut likes, like, loves, like, fruit. As soon as I started pouring the first MPK solution, it smelled pretty bad. I'm not sure if it went bad or it's supposed to smell like that, but experimenting. And I found the next bottle by reading the description. It was the micronutrients, so we decided to add this on top of the MPK solution that I just added. We found this gooey stuff in the water. Hopefully it's okay. <laughs> We waited for a couple days and grass just continued to grow. I'm not sure how tall this is going to grow, but last time I started the hydroponic field, oh, if you guys haven't watched it, please go check it out. Those actually stopped growing after seven inches, but these grass just kept growing. As the time passed, we realized the bucket that we were using at the bottom as a water container was too small. So we decided that we wanted to upgrade it. Now to shopping. We came here to buy the wheel so that we can move the water container pretty easily. And then we had to buy some wooden boards to put the container on top of it. We had to make sure it was strong enough so even if the container gets really heavy, it would be able to hold its weight. We're first attaching four wheels to the bottom of this board. When we were choosing the wheel, we didn't have too many choices, unfortunately, so we had to go with this one, but I think it's going to work out. We wanted to make this, um, I guess, dolly, <laughs> DIY dolly, to be pretty and waterproof, so we put some cover on it. We're squeezing out to make sure that it's flat and even. Cutting it at the right place in the corner so that it would look clean and well made. Flipping it over. Finishing it up. Voila. Yeah! And voila. Yeah! 
We're transferring all the water solution from old container to the new container. We're using another pump to do it because I can't lift the container. Fully switched, it looks good. And as you can see, grass grew even more. Don't worry about the color of the water, it's actually clean water that has a little bit of barley bits to it. That's why it's slightly yellow. I'm going to switch this water out, water solution out, probably once a week. Finally, Guinea Dad's indoor hydroponic grass field has reached its final form. As you can see, like the grass started like moving. It's because during during the weekend I left the light on and then the room was dark, so all the grass was kind of leaning toward this light on top. That's why they're all twisted and looks funky. But you know, they're mostly healthy. Now let's see whether the girls will like it. Good girl. Go, go, go. Good girl. <laughs> to make their own path in. Tip of the barley grass was yellow because of um, giving too much fertilizer. So next time I switch the solution out, I'm going to either not put the macronutrients including the nitrogen or maybe lessen it. So even though they eat the whole thing, it's not too much because this dried matter, dried mass, will be so much so small uh, compared to compared actual to hay. hay? Oh. But this is hay, basically. Oh. If we dry this, this becomes would... hay. Oh, I didn't know that. The only difference is that's Timothy grass and this is barley, barley. grass. Uh...
Thanks for watching the video everyone. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. And please comment on what guinea dash you work on next to add to the guinea pig paradise. See you guys next time. Bye.